Welcome to the warm-up presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone. I'm Mark Kuntz. Matt Fink will join us in a little bit as we're in Fort Recovery. Talk with the Indians and joined by Fort Recovery head coach Brent Niekamp. And coach, coming off a historic season for Fort Recovery. First ever trip to the playoffs. And not only did you make it to the playoffs, you won a playoff game. How did last season, has last season, reinvigorated the football program here at Fort Recovery? <clears throat> Yeah, I, I don't know if I would say reinvigorated because we've had – our kids have been pretty enthusiastic um, even through some some records that, that didn't look so good. But I think we have a group of guys now who uh, have a little taste of what the possibilities are if we play well and if we work hard. So they're really hungry to, to try to build on, on what we accomplished. You know, talking with Tim Goodman at Marin Local a couple days ago, I threw out four recoveries being a surprise team last year. He goes, yeah, well, they were kind of a surprise team. But if you paid attention, you saw that those kids were coming up through the ranks, and it was just a matter of time before it paid off. Is this program at this point now where it is going to be not only competitive year in and year out, but making postseasons year in and year out? Well, that's that's hard to say because because of of, of who we play. and. You know, it's it's crazy to think that like last year, a team like St. Henry can beat the state champion in their division and not make the playoffs. So anything can happen, and you have to be fortunate. But I think we'll have a chance. I think we'll be in the in the mix of those type of teams that that if if we play well, and you know, sometimes you have to be fortunate. Sometimes the ball has to bounce your way too. Um, but I think we're going to be right there. Getting a taste of success last year does that leave this year's team hungry for more? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. These guys, um, that's all they've been talking about since November. Um, you know, they started with, after the first of the year, the seniors want to start talking and meeting and, and getting things ready and, and talking about leadership and how they want to how they want to leave their mark on the program. And, and through the spring, you know, kids are coming in watching film and studying to try to improve at their position. So yeah, it's really exciting right now. Cole Hull certainly made his mark on the program, Re graduated, First team all Mac running back. You can't necessarily replace him, but how do you go about finding that yardage that uh, he had last year? Well, I think um, I think it comes down to other guys stepping up. We we do return uh, our quarterback. We do return our, our top receiver from last year, and we return a kid who didn't carry the ball as much as we thought he was going to going into the year. Going into the year, we thought that Kyle Schreer and Cole would be pretty much neck and neck and maybe split carries, and then Cole just you know had a, a tremendous season and kind of ended up getting the bulk of those carries. But we think Kyle's very capable, and we got some kids behind him that are going to push too. So uh, having some competition at those spots I think is going to be really good for us. What's the line looking like? Big. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the biggest group of guys probably that I've had here. Um, but we're, they're going to take a lot of work. Uh, they're uh, Most of those guys did not start on the offensive line last year, just Chris Link, our center. Um, the other guys all played different roles, maybe a little bit here or there on the offensive line, uh, some defensive line, some, some defensive uh, like at linebacker. But um, it's going to take some work to get those five guys to gel, but I think they have the ability to do a good job. The fact that you do have the center returning, that's got to be a little bit of a positive, having the, the guy that's the, the captain of the offensive line. He literally is the center of the offensive line. To build off of that has to be a, a little bit of a positive then. Yeah, yeah, we're ex and we're really excited about Chris because he, um, you know, he was a starter last year as a sophomore on a veteran offensive line. He had uh, four seniors around him, and then he was the question mark. He was the guy that we're hoping, okay, he's got to have a good year, and if he does, we've got a chance to be good. Well, he had a good year. He had, he, you know, surpassed our expectations, and now he's kind of got to be the guy to lead lead the newcomers now. Defensively, what are you expecting out of Fort Recovery? Well, I think, um, you know, we return a lot of guys in our secondary. We return some guys that are pretty talented on our defensive line. Um, we we got to replace three really good linebackers. And uh, But I think we got kids who, who understand what we're trying to do defensively and who are aggressive and, and eager. So, um, you know, it's, it's just going to be a matter of, in, in those spots, uh, guys stepping up also. What was the summer like before recovery? It was a lot of fun. <laughs> well, it was, it was pretty normal. You know, we, we ran and lifted, excuse me, through the, through the per first part of the summer. And uh, seniors have done a good job leading those workouts and, and, and keeping guys focused. And now that we're into practicing, uh, that's, that's exciting too. 
as a Division Seven school, certainly there's always the concern about the numbers. How many kids do you have out for football this year? I think we have. I think we have right at 50. And for us, that's a lot. I think yeah. the most since I've been at Fort Recovery, the most we've had was 53. I um, mean, it wasn't last year. It was uh, like in 2007. Um, you know, it, it helps. Uh, but but really, the what it comes down to is how many of those guys can play. You can have 80 guys on your roster. How many of them can you put in on a Friday night and they can do a role that aren't going to be a liability or a weakness that, that somebody will find? And I think we got more and more of those guys. What's your coaching staff looking like this year? Uh, really, really good bunch of guys. Um, Toby Metzger's been with us uh, since he graduated high school in 09, I believe. He's been either a junior high coach and he's moved up to high school. Dave Blockberger's been with me every year that I've been at Fort Recovery, and this will be my 11th. And he actually started right after I got out of high school here. So Dave's been here for like 17 years and has done a great job um, all those years through, through a lot of tough times. Um, and Kirk Link and Tyler Webker um, have joined us recently. Tyler just this year, Kirk about three years ago. And they're, they're young guys and they're energetic and everybody gives a little different um, a viewpoint on, on things, which is good. I think that's healthy. Um, and and it's, it's a good bunch of guys to be around. I really enjoy working with them. Schedule this year, you open at home against Lehman Catholic before traveling to Fort Laramie, and then you get into the MAC. It's a tough schedule, but I'm sure that's what you want to see. Absolutely. I mean, um, when you talk about the the postseason possibilities, you, you know, uh, outside of your conference games, you're going to have to beat some quality opponents, and Sydney Lehman and Fort Laramie definitely provide that. They're both playoff teams from last year, and, and just about every year they get in. So. So they're going to be um, good tests for us. And then, obviously, you know, the MAC goes without saying. We, we know that's going to be a gauntlet, and, and we have to be ready for it. What uh, needs to be done between now and that week one game with uh, Lehman Catholic? Well, I think um, we, we need to gel up front offensively. We need, to, uh, we need to evaluate and see who physically can do what, who mentally can do what. Um, I feel like uh, some things, some sp- things that with our skill positions have to work themselves out as far as competing with each other and um, and we got to keep taking steps forward with leadership right now our seniors are doing a great job um, but right now it's easy to be optimistic there's going to be times this year where it's going to be hard and and that's when they really got to be ready for uh, for it to be positive to to pull their teammates along and to, and to really take the lead all right, Brent Neekamp, veteran head coach for Recovery. Thank you. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Matt Finkel will talk to some of those four recovery seniors here on the warm-up presented by Wabash Mutual Tell. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone Company here in Fort Recovery. And I'm joined by three Indian seniors, Adam Lefevre, tight end, defensive end to my right. In the middle is Ross Homan, tight end, linebacker, and Kaylin Rockwood on the end, defensive tackle, offensive tackle. Adam, let's start with you. Last year, a great season for the Indians. The community really rallied behind the football program, and you guys made history. What did you take away from 2014? Uh, the biggest thing that I took away from last season was how to lead and how to achieve what we want to. It takes a lot of work in the MAC, obviously, and every conference, but especially in the MAC, you have to really want it. And you have to be able to lead when things aren't going your way. And that's the big thing I took away from. Ross, did you see that, the hard work? You put it in and then you got rewarded last year and now that's something you're looking to carry over? Oh, uh, certainly. Last year we put, like you said, a lot of work in. And this year we pushed for even harder work because we knew what it was going to take. And uh, we felt like we're right there with the good teams, and it took a lot of work to get there. Kaylin, what have you done so far in the summer to continue that work ethic, and have you guys been meeting as a team before organized practice got started? Uh, Yeah, I mean, we were in the weight room. I mean, all working together, pushing as hard as we can, and just getting better as a team and learning to work together. Yeah, Adam, you guys have a that's a newer weight room facility in there, right? Nice, yeah. nice. What's it like? Brand new. There? It's it's awesome. It's I'd say it's the best around. I don't know. I haven't been to 
some of these places, but there's nothing nothing you can't do in there. It's great. We can run our sprints all year long and, I mean, put on, Rockwood's put on like 100 pounds on a squat or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's ridiculous. You can, oh, it's awesome. That's great. Yeah, I'd like to hear that. I'm sure Coach Nikan would like to hear that too. Ross, what about camp so far? How's it been going? You guys doing two days? Uh, yeah, um, today was our first day of two days. Uh, we had camp uh, two weeks before this. We've had, uh, I'd say we had a pretty smooth transition going from last year. Like I said, we all knew it was going to take to get back, and um, the seniors, as one, were trying to push the underclassmen to hang tight, and um, a lot of it's learning plays. So just hang in there, pick up what the older guys and coaches tell you. Well, best of luck this season. Good things coming for Fort Recovery, I'm sure. Time for a break here on the warm-up. When we come back, I'll be joined by some more Indians players. Third and final down here on the warm-up, presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone Company from Fort Recovery. Joined by two more seniors, we have Tanner Cook and Wes Wenning, both wide receivers and safeties for Brent Camp's bunch. And since you're both wide receivers, let's talk about Caleb Martin, your junior quarterback who played a lot last year and helped lead the team where they got him. How is he coming along and, and this camp? And you've got some experience with him now. Uh, yeah, he's he's outstanding for a junior. I mean, the kid's, the kid's got a great arm, and he's got a great mind, and he's just an all-around what you want in a high school quarterback. Wes, have you seen him progress even from his sophomore season into the beginning of this junior season in training camp? Oh, yeah, he's progressed a ton. I mean, even uh, in all aspects, on the field, off the field, uh, his maturity level, his, uh, his level of thinking, like, uh, while we're watching video, you know, it's outstanding. What do you like about playing for Coach Niekamp? He's been around for a while and seems to run a pretty tight ship. I just Coach Niekamp, I, I just I like the guy a lot. I mean, I've been around him my whole life, and he just loves he gets everyone fired up and gets everyone on the same page and makes sure we are all working hard, and that's a big thing. Yeah, very important. Wes talked about it a little with Coach Mark did the MAC and the competitive competitiveness of it. What do you like about playing in the MAC and, and knowing that weekend there's no weeks off essentially. Yeah. Oh, it's outstanding. I mean, there's no pride. There's no uh, better honor than playing in the MAC, you know. Uh, and I, I just thought it was cool, you know, to say, you know, you go to all these football camps in the summer and all you have to do is say, you know, we're a Division Seven school, we're small, but we're from the MAC, you know, and all these college coaches are like, oh, wow, you know, you're from the MAC. So, I mean, it's an outstanding honor and, you know, I think it's awesome how uh, even though, unfortunately, we got beat by Marion, we were all pulling for each other, you know, for them to win state championships. It's awesome. Yeah, great camaraderie and instant respect when you talk about the MAC. Tanner, what do you think this team's biggest strength is right now? Um, I think our biggest strength is just our senior leadership, and we have guys in our senior class that have played and been on the varsity field and know what it's like. And we have a lot of those younger guys that are physically ready, and they're huge and strong and ready to play, but we can help them with the experience. And you don't know what it's like playing on a Friday night until you get out there. It's just it's unbelievable. Well, best of luck to you guys. Thanks for letting us come out and chat. That's going to do it for this edition of The Warm-Up, presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone Company. For Mark Kuntz, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on the West Ohio Sports Network.